see here. How do I do this? How do I, how do I flip this? No. Uh, let's see if I can get a good picture here. Um, here I am. This is me now. Um, I do Santas for uh, events and stuff. As you can hear, there's some kids outside, so I gotta keep it quiet. But this is what I looked like before. And then I want to transfer myself into a full Santa. So, I've got my whole costume here. Got my pants. Let's see what else we got here. Got my jacket. It's a bit wrinkly, so I like to shake it out a little bit. Shake, shake it out. And yeah, you see me chewing gum. It's uh, part of my thing. I uh, I feel that when you're doing Santa, kids sit on your lap, right? And they talk to you. And what should Santa smell like, right? Peppermint. And uh, I usually have pet vanilla body spray. I can't find it. Because, right, cookies. Uh, okay, I'm just taking everything out of my box. Um, this is where I store everything. I have a five-year-old myself, so I can't just like leave it laying around. So I, I store it in the box so he doesn't think about it. He just sees a box and he's like, it's a box. If you had a big bag hanging out with the red stuff sticking out, then he might worry, right? A beard. My glasses. My makeup. Um, I only got about an hour, which is cool. I can usually do this in about a half hour, 45 minutes. I got a mirror. Normally I use my phone, but since I'm periscoping, I'm using a mirror. So if I'm not looking at you, I apologize. Normally I would be staring at you, but I gotta see what I'm doing here. Uh, I don't know where to set this up. The cool thing about doing this stuff is that you never know what kind of situation you're going to be in when you set up never one time i changed the, the kitchen area where they were serving the pizza so there was like a little nook i was hiding behind the nook so every time if somebody went up for pizza they didn't see me that was a crazy one um, let's see here all right i'm good to go it's a combination of uh face like professional face and body paint the stuff you get at dollar store and then also some cream um as you can see i have a big frothy beard and that beard will hide it but just in case i want to like make it white all along where my beard might show and of course my eyebrows because it'd be weird with santa with like different colored eyebrows so i uh start wetting the paint now you don't want it too wet not like because you're not applying it to skin right so you just need it to highlight your beard just big sloppy brush strokes I like to go against the grain sometimes I feel that if you go with the grain all the time you don't get as good of a sticking situation going on I used to trim this all, but I find even by trimming it, some definitely does poke through. The other day when I did one, the uh, the local football team there, the, the from the community, the, the community club, they were having a little get together. So I had to like do my makeup in one room and then go sit and wait in another room. It was weird. But like I said, changing rooms are, just got to make sure you got one. Or you got to come dressed, which I do too, which <laughs> really does score me a lot of weird looks. So just paint my beard. It doesn't have to be great because that's going on top of it. It just has to blend. So that way if they do see some of it, it's not 
brown or blonde. It's white. Just brushing that in. Brushing it in. For the first time of the year, I do put the wig on first and the beard. So that way I can see where it's covering so I know what areas to cover. But now I, I've done it already. So I know basically what parts of my hair I actually have to highlight. Just in case, you know, a kid pulls on it or whatever. Actually, the lady that was doing the last show, she's seen me the last few years. And she actually didn't even know I was the Santa that year. Because I'm usually a little more clean cut than this. I just decided to say, hey, why bother shaving right now? It's winter. And I live in like in the coldest, coldest place on earth. Like, why would I? Uh, so you basically get it all over there. Wipe off your brush. And clean up the splatters because your hair likes the splatter. the brush and then you hit up all the skin that you hit now I have two glasses of water here uh, where is it there one two okay I do have two um, one's clean water and one's the one I'm dipping the brush in the clean water is for this type of stuff Just basically make sure you get all the water or the white off your skin because obviously that does not look real. And remember, when you're doing this, you're doing it for the kids, right? So try to go for as real as possible. I mean, the way it's been going for me, this is probably my last year doing makeup. Ugh. I'm just going to let it grow and let the hair grow white because it's going that way anyways. Um, Still chewing my gum. Doesn't matter what kind, I just go mint, peppermint, whatever, you know, candy cane smelling. Now this is where my eyebrows, I use uh, the dollar, dollar store stuff. The nicer consistency, you can make sure you, the brush is a bit thick. So when you do it with the brush, see as you can tell it's already noticing. When you do it with the brush, I like I do a quick one, but it's so fat and so thick that it hits your skin a lot. So when it hits your skin a lot, then it, you have to go in and wipe. And when you wipe, then some of the paint removes. So I just do it with this first. I do a good base coat with this. I mean you have to be careful, because I mean yes, you do get on your skin, and that's the thing too though, right? You have to go both ways again, with and against the grain. Halfway done now. There we go. Now I take my wet clean up rag and just make sure I get all the new stuff off from around the skin. As you can see, it's not looking horrible. Just make sure you get your whole eyebrow. There's been times where I've been rushed and I forget some of it and it looks horrible when I come back and I'm like, oh. No viewers yet, and that's okay. I'm doing this for me. This is like my first periscope so excited so now that the white has dried at the first layer 
go back in. You don't have to re-wet it if you want a little bit pastier so it sticks better. Just do another quick coating right along the base. And again, just keep it, keep it real, right? watching so I'm not really worried about boring anybody right at this point. Uh, just doing this for what I do, right? Right, folks? And now, with the pastier face mask, the pastier brush, my black hoodie is just spattered with whiteness. It's like Monica Lindsay's dress almost. Yeah, I used the Monica Lewinsky joke, sue me. I'm old. Monica Lewinsky's still funny to me. No, I don't know why everybody was so hot and bothered about her. If you think about it, it was on her dress. So she wasn't that good at what she did. Just touching up, touching up, touching up. Um, this last week it took a little longer because it's my first one after after the break. I'll do more of these, I think. If if people watch or whatever, I don't know. Do a little heart thing. Let me know that you guys are watching. If you even maybe even like it not yeah, I'll try something else right I joined Periscope I might as well join Periscope just cleaning off my brush right now all right now I'm white that's the hardest part really it's just because a lot of the time you get messy now for the next part it's my little trick I uh, I like putting a little red on my nose and my cheeks because he's in the sleigh, right? He's flying. You're gonna get windburned, right? But it makes you look jolly too, you know, not so scary. So, uh, what do you do? Just put a little bit. Because this is that dollar, dollar store shit, so just a little touch. You gotta be careful though when you're first putting it on. This, as you can see, just pink. And you put too much on one side, then you're screwed. You go from Santa being jolly to Santa being a drunk very quickly. And you just rub it in. Rub it in. You only need a little bit. I do it up here a little bit because that sometimes shows, right? But then you get the tip of your nose. Just the tip. So it still leaves some skin color, right? You know, almost like a cartoon character. I do change my voice so I don't sound like this when I'm doing it. I have a more deeper and uh, older man sound. <laughs> you know, um, I am an inspiring actor. If you like me, click on me and we can maybe swap info or something. But uh, so far, so good. You know, it sounds like there's a circus on, like a little, I don't know, playtime circus, I think he said. Um, but, anyways. That was my transformation. Um, I mean, I could put the wig on and everything too if you guys want, but I got like another 45 minutes. Maybe I'll snap back when I'm doing that. All right, Periscope, I mean, scope back. I do Snapchat uh, if you're interested at all. Whatever. And uh, yeah, we'll catch ya. Let's see, how do I turn this off now? Oh, Oh, I'm recording. Okay, so...
as you saw earlier in my previous video, all this, the makeup done, the eyebrows, um, you just double check. Doesn't hurt to double check, right? Another thing I do is I like to put on my baby powder uh, when I'm changing because that suit gets really hot. Last thing you need is like wet spots. You know? Not that I've ever had that issue because the suit's pretty thick, but I, I don't want to have that issue. So, just time to change. So what I'm gonna do here, I'll step back. Hey! <laughs> just gonna take off my jacket here. And uh, I got my fake stomach right here. Squeeze into it. Kind of wiggle in, wiggle in, wiggle in. Well, it was. No, just kidding. I superimposed my face on a body. It's an app called Face and Hole. It's a pretty silly app. So, just take off my shoes. Um, so, I got my hat. Um, taking off my pants. Don't get too excited though. It is just shorts. Let's see, wow. I wear the shorts because uh, you never know what's gonna happen when a kid's. Uh... <laughs> yes, yes, it is. They respect me more here. That's all. So. Put on your pants. There we go. Then my jacket. It's all pretty basic stuff. Like I said, I didn't even know if I was gonna broadcast this, but I figured, hey, why not? So, slip this on. this. Thanks for inviting people. I appreciate it. So the fluff is kind of in the way, so you have to kind of pure a little better. Um, like I said, I don't normally look this white, like with the facial hair, but uh, if you uh, tune in, if you look at my other previous my previous broadcast, it shows you how I did the white makeup. So then I do the beard. I leave the earring in, little trick. Because I have a little elastics. I hook it on the earring so it doesn't fall off. Because I usually hold the kit on this side. It's a common side. I don't know why. So we go like this. And it doesn't, actually. You've seen me from standing to sitting, which is pretty much my normal. So there you go. Then you put this on. And there you go. Now you got Santa Claus. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, stay tuned for other ones. Cool. Ho, ho, ho.